What's up guys, hope you guys are doing well. Back for another shave. Um, we'll get right into it so the video doesn't take too long. Today we'll be revisiting a brand that I haven't used in about over a year. This is uh, <clears throat> Ethos. It's uh, Grooming Essentials, that's the brand. And the soap is called Ethos and the soap, the, the scent is called Rendezvous. And it is a collab with The Razor Company, which I'm a big fan of as a retailer. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is a inspired by scent of Wood and Spice by Creed. Um, off the tub, this is how much I have loaded, or I took out. It's a one ounce. Uh, to me, it smells similar to the scent Oregon by Lothar Grooming, which is a dupe of Wonderwood by CDM, but I haven't lathered it yet, so it might open up a bit. Uh, for the brush of choice, we'll be going with my Varlet uh, Cauldron in the Sagramatha colorway, 29 millimeter. Just gonna squeeze all that out. And I have it, uh, I have the soap kind of loaded up in my uh, supply marble bowl. I'm gonna, I did uh, add quite a bit more soap than uh, I normally would onto the bowl because typically I don't load from a bowl. And um, I kind of wanted to give the soap the best chance it had to kind of perform the way I want it to because um, the last time I used Ethos on the channel it was the V1 base and I wasn't really impressed at all with the, the soap. Um, in my opinion it was just kind of lacking uh, density, residual slickness. It felt a little drying to me. Um, I did use it a few times, ended up selling it after that. Uh, but this is a newer version, a newer base. I don't know if this is the V2 or the uh, or the F base, which is the newest, but what I could tell you is it's uh, it's definitely a newer base. So we'll see how this does. Um, yeah, I don't know. The, the V1 was getting a ton of hype. This is like way before he had a website, um, and it just missed the mark for me. Um, I overloaded it, threw a ton of water at it, but uh, yeah, it's neither here nor there. I think it's loaded pretty well enough. It sh should be good. I mean, we're not going to need to do a ton here. Only have like a day's growth. Just uh, getting the water in the sink here. Hope you guys have been doing well. Okay, wow. Yeah, immediately I'm getting some citrus that I didn't really smell before I lathered it. So definitely has more citrus than Oregon does. I'm getting like a lime or a lemon. Yeah, it's a lemon. It's not a lime. So far, so good. Hope you guys been doing well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so uh, this is a dupe of Wood and Spice, which I've never smelled the original, but the listed scent notes for Wood and Spice are uh, lemon, apple, bergamot, cloves, angelic root, pink berries, vetiver, patchouli, pimento, birch, cedarwood, iris, oak moss, and Tonkin musk. Um, that's off the Creed website. Um, yeah, so off the bat, this is definitely more dense than uh, the V1 in my opinion, but uh, we'll see how it goes. I had like a hundred ingredients, that's all I remember. It was so long ago since I used Ethos, but many people seem to love it, so I can't really uh, hate on that. I'm sure it's a great performer for many folks, but yeah, the sense strength is about medium. Yeah, that citrusy uh, top really comes through. Uh, I'd say definitely a crowd pleaser. And I get like a woodiness to it. It's very woody. Um, I get cedarwood and like a slight hint of vetiver and citrus. I don't get all of those other notes to be honest with you, but that's okay. Uh, we're just gonna keep lathering up. Hopefully I'll be done by the six minute mark here. So I can get into the shave. I don't want to take too long here, but uh, hope you guys have been doing well, enjoying your soaps. Any new releases you might have gotten, drop in the comments below. I was very looking forward to uh, the Moose Illumini from Zingari Man, and I might be the only one in the entire wet shave community that didn't really love that scent. So I actually used it and sold it, but uh, um, I thought it was a well done oak moss forward scent, but um, to me it was just too much oak moss. I heard that the fragrance, the actual fragrance, you can pick up the resins more than the soap, so 
happy to hear that. So maybe I'll pick up a sample of the, the, the real fragrance and then judge, judge the scent based on that. But um, so far this is lathering quite well. It's taking the water. I've been um, adding water every time I take the brush off my face pretty much. Yeah. I'm just gonna work in the water just a little bit more. Then we'll get into the shave. Today I'll be using the Thai 22 from Henson Shaving. Uh, this time it's the plus plus plate. Last time I used the plus plus plus, which is uh, abbreviations basically for aggressive and medium. All right, it's starting to get a little airy, so I'm just gonna paint in water. It's got plenty of structure. Yeah, that's pretty good, actually. It looks pretty good. It's kind of a mess, but <laughs> it is dialed in. So, cool. I'm just gonna clean up a bit here and then we'll be good to go. Made a freaking mess. Yeah, so excited to use this razor. I've been pretty much using uh, Henson razors exclusively for like the last two weeks. I'm on a kick. Definitely still love the Overlander, uh, like I said earlier. But this is it right here. I did a light polish to it, so it still has the machine marks that it comes with, but um, I wanted it to uh, get a little shine to it. So that's what I did. Nice added weight over the aluminum. Real nice razor. You got brass threading here, tungsten brushing on the bottom and on the top of the handle. And then let's get right into it. We're going with a fresh Wizomet blade, which I found works really well with this razor for me. So yeah, we'll give that a go. And then uh, just show you closing the razor. All right, cool. So uh, yeah, so the blade is loaded. That's what it looks like in the titanium. And let's get to it. Sorry, there's like birds in the background making noise. <laughs> Weather's getting nicer out, so. Yeah, definitely knocking down the growth. Oh, pretty good residual. Uh, so far, I'm really impressed with uh, this version. Uh, whatever base this is, I don't know. It didn't say, and it's no longer on the, the Razor Company website, the scent, so. Um, don't know what soap piece it is, but seems to be lathering much better than the original I owned. Man, super smooth. It's just knocking down all that growth. Um, I wanted to say something though about the razor. Um, yeah, once again, I said it on the last time I used it, the uh, aggressive. This razor will not work for a lot of wet shavers. Um, a lot of ones that I spoke to, uh, people that I spoke to, they said that it had, doesn't have enough blade feel. Um, it's not efficient enough. Um, so I can't speak for those people, but the razor definitely works for me. And I've really been enjoying it myself. First pass went very well. Yeah, residual slickness is very good. Uh, no complaints at all. Great soap. Um, so Frank did a great job with the soap. Um, and Jason, if he's picked out the scent. Um, it's really nice. Nice woody, citrusy forward scent. Woods and citrus go together like peanut butter and jelly, man. They just do. Okay. We're gonna do a Guess see, against the, against the grain pass here. Yeah, so some people find it's not that efficient. I find it's plenty efficient, it just doesn't have much blade feel. Let 
I mean, my tough Egyptian beard is BBS, you know? <laughs> After not a ton of effort. Yeah, I think as a daily driver though, I prefer the medium over the aggressive because um, it's not like the aggressive has a ton of blade feel, but the medium is just so comfortable and mindless. Like if I woke up early and I had to shave and I was like half awake, um, like I would just reach for this. Ooh, I got a tiny nick. I think I had a bump there. Yeah, I did. Might've been an ingrown or something. Yep. It's just so mindless and easy to use that that's why I enjoy it, using it. You have to pay attention a bit more on the aggressive, but it's, it's not bad at all in the grand scheme of things compared to some other uh, razors that I've used. So those who like more blade feel, more efficiency out of the Henson medium, because many have tried the aluminum, I'd give the aggressive a go whenever it's restocked. But um, medium is fine for me. I, I could use this daily. This is a great daily driver razor. Okay, yeah, residual is solid. It's not drying at all. And I'm able to buff with the residual slickness here, as you can see. I could go over the same area. Yeah, so uh, Frank did a good job with this soap, I have to say. And we're just gonna clean up right here. All right, cool. So BBS, I think. Let's feel around. Yeah, we are BBS. Um, yeah, so quick, easy shave. Liked it. Uh, let me just get some aloe here. Cool. Um, there is no matching splash that I know of, so I'm gonna reach for Lothar Oregon here. I'll just drop a, just a little bit. Cool. Oh, that's great. Nice, quick and close shave. So yeah, I can't really speak to the post shave because I'm using post shave product, but what I could say is the immediate post shave, like immediately after the shave, the soap did not feel drying at all. It seemed to have improved density over the original. You know, it was plenty slick, like just really good, really great performer. Sense drink was about a medium. But yeah, uh, overall it was, Fantastic shave, guys. So, uh, Lothar Grooming, not Lothar, uh, Lothar was the splash. Uh, Ethos Grooming, great soap. If you're willing to check out uh, some of his newer scents, he's got a bunch. Uh, he's always cranking them out, but um, yeah, I'm a fan. I didn't really like the V1 too much, but the, whatever this version is, the newest version is it's pretty damn good. So, uh, we use the Varlet, the Henson, which I have been digging. Um, with a Wizomet blade and then a uh, low third grooming splash. All right, that's it for the shave, guys. Oh, uh, catch you guys in the next one. Peace.